GMB TV. Yeah, like, come on, follow me. Let's see what we got. Listen closely if you trying to eat. Get passive income, got that money flowing in my sleep. Young and please, got 30,000 on my wrist, 10 on my fist. That 18 around my neck, make I can show respect. You looking at a guard, exhorting no fears. About five in each ear, that's what you want to hear. VA. Remember what I told you, right? Yeah. What I said? It's grown man business. It's grown man business. I mean, it is what it is, and it'll be what it's going to be at all times, my Gs, at all times. And we all seen what went down between Little Romeo and Master P. We all seen what transpired between Little Romeo and Master P. And I mean, it gets deep, it gets wicked, and it's always deep in a rap when you scratching the surface. And here at Grown Man Business TV, we are definitely scratching the surface. And I got to say, man, I'm highly disappointed in Little Romeo. I'm highly disappointed in little romeo for trying to expose his father on social media i mean it is what it is and it'll be what it's going to be but it was absolutely disgusting work not a good look for little romeo now we all know master p is a mogul master p is a mogul and one thing for sure two things for certain he put little romeo in position to be great i'm talking about from a youngster from a youngster, we seen Master P build an empire and then put his son, his first son, in position to be great. Now, if Little Romeo took full advantage of that situation, it is what it is and it'll be what it's going to be. But we got to talk about this. Now, salute to all my investors in the DMs. Salute to everybody saying Big G and B TV, the Oracle. And don't you forget the TV and you better always remember the Oracle. We want to know your perspective. We want to know your thoughts on the situation between Master P and Little Romeo because it's grown man business at all times. It's grown man business at all times. So, you know, when you go to these different channels, you're going to get different perspectives. And you already know I carved out a lane for the real. So when you come over here, you're looking for the real. So it is what it is and it'll be what it's going to be. Highly dis disappointed in you, Little Romeo. I mean... I gotta say that, man. Now, listen, you already know how we do here at Grown Man Business TV, right? We gonna get into these clips. We gonna double back and get deeper into this angle. We gonna get into these clips and we gonna double back and get deeper into this angle. Dang. Every day because I gotta get out of character and put this on the internet, which I don't wanna do. But I try to call my son. People say, why you call? I did. He don't call back. It's been months. So my question is to Romeo. Like, if you've been in the business for long as you've been in, and you're a 30 something year old man, and if you've been around me watching me hustle and do my thing, why are you not where you want to be at? Because that means you're not listening. That means you want to do your own thing. You done brought your own circle, your own circle of people, but you can't get mad at me because I really thought this was about the only reason I entertain this on social media. I thought there was about the DJ Twitch uh, post I put up. And I thought it was about my daughter's debt. I thought you was grieving. Mental illness is, is real. But I want to tell all the people out there that just don't understand how bad my heart hurt. Romeo lost a sister, but I lost a daughter. And for any parent that's going through this, because I know debt, it brings people closer together or it tear them apart. But I come from nothing, y'all. And I could go back. I'm cool with it. I won't be angry at God. I won't be upset. I won't go get mad and, and be disrespectful to my parents and none of that stuff. I just said, Dad, thank you for putting me in this world not to get out and hustle and go do my thing. But that's the problem. When you take kids and you, you kind of like uh, protect them from the real struggle and the pain and you don't allow them to deal with their own consequences. And then when they grow older, they, oh, you never gave me nothing. At 30 something, man, people could go back and look, you've been shining for a long time, son. All you got to do is pick up the phone and call me or come to the house and holler at me. The saddest thing about this, this is what the people want to see. They want to see destruction. So if you destroy me, what are you going to do for the rest of the family? Are you going to take care? You told me <laughs> on the post that you put up, oh, you go take care of people in the community. That's what you're supposed to do when you come from that. You go help people. I'm just not helping ungrateful people. I'm not an ATM machine. People can't just say they love me when I give them something. 
I'm tired of that, y'all. And any other parents, you could be rich or poor at a smaller level. You might give your kid $10, but if that's all you got, I've always fell off, got back up, hustled, did my thing. I'm tired of all these blog sites and all this stuff, poking and having fun. Y'all can, but I'm about to go back to work and do what I got to do. I love my family. My door is always open for my son. To be honest, because we shouldn't have to go through this. Damn! Ten minutes later. What's good? So you just gonna walk in here like nothing ain't happened, like it's just all good. I feel like you let the family down. So that's just it. Everything gonna go your way, so I just need to just chill. I want you to be a man. I want you to be a boss. I want you to do your own thing. But when you make a commitment, your word got to be it. So, well, you know what? I can't make no mistakes. It ain't no mistakes we could do. If I make a mistake, we done. So who gonna be there to clean it up if I make a mistake? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She get wicked. Mm -hmm. Like what you said, mm -hmm. raw. Mm -hmm. She get wicked, mm -hmm. yeah. That's what I'm talking about, my G's. I mean, do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? It gets deep, it gets wicked, and it's always deep in a rap when you scratching the surface. And here at Grown Man Business TV, we are definitely scratching the surface. Now, y'all got an earful, right? I'm sure y'all got an eye full of those clips. I mean, it is what it is, and it'll be what it's going to be, but it's disgusting work, my G. Absolutely disgusting to see little Romeo try to throw his father, Master P, under the bus on social media. I mean, what are we coming to when you have a father like Master P being thrown under the bus, being disrespected? You feel what I'm saying now? A lot of you youngins wasn't around for the whole situation, but I'm going to break the backstory down. You had Little Romeo and you had Little Bow Wow. You had No Limit Soldiers and you had So So Deaf. And I ain't going to lie, most people rock with Little Bow Wow. You know, he was light-skinned, he had all the girls, he had the Allen Iverson cornrows, you feel what I'm saying? And he was a host on 106 in Park. But a handful of us, including me, rocked with Little Romeo. We rocked with Little Romeo, and I ain't gonna lie, one thing for sure, two things for certain, it wasn't because he was nice at rapping. It had nothing to do with his music. Most of us rocked with Little Romeo because of the family unit. Because you had Master P, his actual father, standing behind him, putting him out there to the world so he could be successful. You understand? Had him repping the brand, the family brand. And a lot of us youngsters, we didn't have a father in the home. A lot of us youngsters couldn't get that grown man business from our fathers. We was getting it from our uncles or from our homies' fathers or from the drug dealer on the block, etc. But little Romeo was lucky enough to have his actual father, his biological father, standing behind him and saying, this is no limit soldier. And this is little Romeo and y'all going to rock with this. And I ain't going to lie, little Romeo, it was a lot of us that was envious of you. It was a lot of us that watched the situation with you and your father and we wished we had that situation. Only for some years later to come out and you disrespect your father on social media. You throw your father under the bus on social media. I mean, it is what it is and it'll be what it's going to be. But again, disgusting work. Little Romeo was repping that tank. Little Romeo had his uncles, his father, everybody behind him. You know, MTV Cribs. We saw Little Romeo on MTV Cribs showing off his crib, showing off his house as a youngster. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about big house. And he was like 16 years old. These are the things that we saw growing up when it comes to Master P and Little Romeo. And then you have, you know, a 30-year-old man, Little Romeo, a 30-year-old Little Romeo disrespecting his father, saying that he stole. there's no way he could have stole from you. See, I got to keep it 100. I got to keep it grown man business TV, my Gs. I wouldn't care what you say about Master P. You fumbled the ball, Little Romeo. You dropped the ball. You feel me? I remember seeing you doing those college commercials and thinking to myself, like, what's really going on? Why is little Romy, what is, what is he doing? You're supposed to be repping the tank. You were supposed to take the reins of the empire. 
You understand me? But one thing for sure, two things for certain. It don't matter how bad you want it for somebody if they don't want it that bad for themselves. It is what it is and it'll be what it's going to be. But the head master P with so much pain in his voice trying to explain what's going on on social media as an older man. You got your dad out here looking crazy, my boy. You should be handled for that. If I was Silk the Shocker, I would have handled you for that, little Romeo. Is what it is and it'll be what it's going to be. But you definitely are in need of some grown man business. And if I was Silk the Shocker, you would have got some grown man business for having my brother out there looking like that. You know, I hear a lot of people saying, yo, Master P took this and Master P took that. Well, let me ask you this, little Romeo. How did you think that the money that you made, the taxes was going to be paid on that money? Who paid the taxes on the money that you made, my boy? Who fed you your whole life? Who kept you in the mansions? You know, you're 30-something years old and you ain't got a, you know, uh, you ain't took the, the reins of the empire. You ain't took no limit soldiers to the next level. You ain't hired young talent and took that label to the next level. Somebody got to put the mirror and put the mirror right in front of your face. Somebody got to point you out, my G. Somebody got to put that mirror in front of your face, man. Is what it is and it'll be what it's going to be. Now, again, a lot of you youngsters don't understand, but I grew up watching Master P build the No Limit legacy. You know, we all wanted to be No Limit soldiers when I was a youngster. Is what it is and it'll be what it's going to be. Those mixtapes made their way all the way to Norfolk, Virginia. And I remember hearing Mystical. I remember hearing all of these different artists and being like, wow, I'm a no limit soldier. I thought I took like what? Come on, Romeo. Is what it is and it'll be what it's going to be. But it's disgusting work. Now, I'm going to leave y'all with this. You got a lot of young men, a lot of young fathers going back and forth with their baby mamas, going back and forth with their family units, thinking like, man, I got to get rich. I got to figure a way to get out of this situation. And this Master P and Little Romeo situation is a prime example to let you know that money is never enough. You could build up $300 million empire and your kids will still talk down on you if they ain't getting what they want. They'll still side with their mothers. As fathers, man, you could never do enough. And you'll only be respected for everything you do when you lay down in that coffin. When you're no longer here, that's when they'll speak on your name. That's when they'll praise you. But while you're here, you get dirt kicked on you any and every which way. It is what it is and it'll be what it's going to be. To all the youngsters, to all the dudes trying to build an empire, look at how Master P is being handled. And think to yourself, does it matter if you make $300 million? If you're not giving everybody what they want, if you're not an open ATM machine, they're going to spit on you, man. They're going to throw dirt on your name. So this is a prime example for all the young men, for all the young fathers, for all the young husbands to, you know, give to your family, build your legacy, but follow your purpose, man, and make sure you take care of yourself. Make sure self-care is one of your priorities. Because nobody else is going to care about you. Nobody else, man. Not even your children. Not even your babies. That you put in position. That you break your back for. At the end of the day, they'll throw dirt on your name as well. It is what it is and it'll be what it's going to be. That's one of the things that was an eye opener for me with this whole situation. That's one of the lessons that Grown Man Business TV took from this situation. After I watched Master P build a little Romeo from nothing. You wouldn't even have the title Little Romeo if it wasn't for Master P putting you out there. And you repping that tank. Being a no limit soldier. You turn 30 something odd years old and you talk down on your father like that and you throw your father under the bus. I don't care what he did. I don't care what you felt he did. You watch your mouth. You keep it off of social media. That's family business, little Romeo. That's why the little is still in front of your name. It don't matter if you're 36 years old. You're still little. You're still little Romeo. Now, mind you, this, this happened some weeks ago, but I still got people in the DMs. Salute to all the investors saying Big G and B TV, the Oracle. And don't you forget the TV and you better always remember the Oracle. What do you think about this situation? We want to hear your perspective. And I got to tell you, it's disgusting work on little Romeo's part. Hurt my heart to hear Master P sound so broken. 
sounds with so much pain in his voice, my G. Is what it is, and it'll be what it's gonna be. Man up, little Romeo. It might be too late for you, homie. Is what it is, and it'll be what it's gonna be. But this is God's work. Dang. GMB TV. Yeah. Hey, come on, follow me. Let's see what we got. Listen closely if you trying to eat. Get passive income, got that money flowing in my sleep. Young and please, got 30,000 on my wrist, 10 on my fist. That 18 around my neck, make I can show respect. Uh, you looking at a guard, exhorting no fears. About five in each ear, that's what you want to hear. VA. Remember what I told you, right? Yeah. What I say? Let's go, man, business. Grown man business.